I hate when people randomly come up to me and tell me what they hate or what they're mad at right now. Why are you as another man coming up to me and telling me how you feel? That's feminine as fuck. Women talk about their feelings for entertainment and men shove that shit so fucking deep down that it forms its own gravity well. People can feel it from outside of you without you ever saying anything. I don't know about you guys, but I honestly never really expected the Mr. Beast controversy, but my YouTube feed is completely full of people that are attacking Mr. Beast over the Chris Tyson allegations. The fascinating thing to me though, is that it's really, as far as anyone knows, he's clean beyond those things, which to me isn't really much different than having a squeaky clean record, but the lawsuit that he launched at the ex-employee who has been releasing a lot of the allegations lately was an extremely good way to turn public perception completely against him. Absolutely no one in the world likes to see anyone get silenced through frivolous lawsuits. And I watched the video that the ex-employee did. It was, it was dog shit. Like it wasn't really a good video. It's pretty fucking weak. Not really enough for anyone to do much more than slap him on the wrist for messing up since we all make mistakes. But what I see as an overreaction to a minuscule problem is probably intentional. He probably is hiding some stuff that's pretty heinous and while I don't know what that is, I could speculate and segue into talking about the other half of the controversy. For being as well calculated a man as Mr. Beast is, Having a person in your crew who you personally have witnessed behaving in ways that would put you on a watch list is unexplainable for someone as detail oriented as Mr. Beast. Like he never once thought to himself, this guy, this gal, I'm not ignorant, this gal, could fuck up everything I have going on and completely destroy my reputation. He never thought that to himself even once. Cause I'm pretty sure the story was Mr. Beast went to his house and saw stuff. We're gonna say the word stuff, but I'm implying more when I say the word. On Chris's wall that was drawn by a guy who was known for drawing stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he, I don't know. It's just some ridiculous thoughts not to connect. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't let, I wouldn't let that person anywhere near me, much less my company, my company completely dedicated to children. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna pretend that I care too much about one more bit of internet drama in a sea of drama. This was just something that piqued my interest. And to be honest with you, I need content. I started uploading uh, really consistently and I'm actually gonna pull back a little bit on that because I've been uh, neglecting other things in order to keep on the video production. Um, Cause you know, when you edit a 45 minute video with an hour of footage, uh, you have to rewatch that a bunch of times. So it takes you like three, four hours to fucking edit one video. Uh, but that's just, that's just me bitching about, you know, my own fun, my own happy, happy joy. But there are other things, other skills that I must build outside of YouTube. So I'm saying that I'm probably not going to post for like a week or two. And I'll see you when I see you, motherfuckers.